Yeah, we're working on the uh, crossfire harness now. Figuring out what stuff goes where. Here's the computer. Compare this to the uh, Camaro engine harness. <laughs> A lot less wires. <laughs> so just figuring out what stuff goes where. Word of warning anyone putting a Camaro together, connect your blower motor power supply before you and put ground. the ground. And ground before you put the fender on. It is a pain in the ass to get to once once you got the fender in. Alrighty, we're making good progress on the engine here. I'm in Germany. Got the uh, fan shroud, fan on, all that stuff. Electrical harness in, well the Camaro harness. Brent's working on the crossfire harness. Yeah. <laughs> he, he says he's got it figured out, but oh, yeah, I don't know. It's very, it's very scary, but it, it will work. No. I, I'd still rather put a carb on it. That's me. <laughs> no. Alrighty. Just finished cleaning up all the connectors on the uh, dash harness here. All the connectors on the fuse box here, they were all rusted up. So I cleaned, uh, cleaned up the connectors in the blaster case. Pretty much went through every single connector here. So, it's coming along. Now I'm going to run this. Uh, this is the harness that goes to the back of the car. I'm going to put this in the car and we'll start working on this. Well, it was a long day, but I did get the dash harness ready to go. Got everything labeled, got all the, you know, dash bulbs checked. We are missing a couple, uh, couple bulbs and uh, a couple fuses. They did, some of them didn't come out nicely. But uh, what? Well, all the circuits check out okay, so we're good. No burnt wires or anything like that, as far as I can tell. It really helped out. Printed a color of the, or made a made a colorized uh, wiring diagram that really helped out. So, still got a lot of work to do in here. Got to get this dash painted, ready to go. But I mean, we got the glove box and uh, you know, cigarette lighter and all that stuff are all ready to go. So it's just a matter of getting it painted and getting the dash assembled, and then we can get that wiring harness in. So she's coming along all right. As far as getting the engine running. Brent's toiling away over here. He says he'll be able to get the crossfire going tomorrow. I don't know. Like I said, I'd much rather put a, put a carburetor on it. That's me. I'm old-fashioned, I guess. So anyway, just stay tuned, guys. And uh, hopefully our next video will be us starting it up for the first time.